So basically, the ego generally always wants things out of the world and out of people. It puts its demands on reality where they need not necessarily be. There are demands, there are certain expectations and so forth that one can reasonably have. But the ones that are born of the ego are not uh, <laughs> in sync with, 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 with what's actually needed. They're normally meant to preserve and fulfill uh, a deepening of its own state, a deepening of its own self. So for example, if you don't like somebody, you're gonna think negative thoughts and then the ego will wish harm on them, either psychologically or whatever. Uh, you get relief sometimes through humor, humor that puts the person down, right? And that can be relieving and all, right? But ultimately it's born in a, a form of malice. Uh, similarly, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't even get that relief if you weren't feeling put down by that person to begin with. You wouldn't need to put them down. So one that needs to put one other, another down is you know, that, that mentality is born in ego. So generally speaking, the ego wants things from people and situations. And when you're free of wanting, you can actually just engage with people. Engage with them without this, this deep and heavy expectation, which, you know, they can fulfill some of those things if you're able to coerce them or manipulate them into doing it. But it only goes so far. There's only so much you can actually get out of somebody and then once those desires are met Other desires are going to populate other desires are going to form because the ego's needs are structural Its entire essence and being is structural and I'm speaking these words logically and you know intellectually or what you know with, with you know words, but it's an energy field honestly energy field or it's a, it's a state of being in which you're just feeling disconnected you're feeling Hostile. You're feeling as if there's there's something horribly wrong here, and that, and you feel not at ease. And it's hard to actually notice or pinpoint that until you do feel at ease. So in the way Eckhart Tolle says, you can't see. I don't know if he says. I'm saying it at least. You can't see the insanity until you come from a place of sanity. In the same way, you can't see how bad you're feeling until you compare it to how good you are, you know, actually feeling good. So some people have essentially just felt bad their entire life and they've populated an entire reality that's created itself, you know, born of that same like kind. Reactions to a hostile and fearful world and full of enemies and whatever, full of all sorts of stuff that is unpleasant and, you know, they've secured their rightful spot within that. But the problem is, is that your, you know, self-creation is very often just, or actually almost invariably be, a reaction to what you perceive the world to be. So when you perceive it to be a more benevolent, nice, and forgiving, and good place, you'll act in like kind and then you'll be treated in like kind. People will forgive your mistakes, right? You'll, you'll be more open, you'll be more vulnerable, you'll be more free. Whereas when you see it as a very caged off, hostile place, You'll act in that way and then you'll get a lot of resistance and opposition and whatever way in which you're viewing it will ultimately turn out to be true. So I guess you can't conceive of the world accurately through conception, but if you were to try, uh, you can see it as a beautiful and benevolent place. A place here for your nurturing, for your you know, for your, the cultivation of your best qualities, and a place which has hostile qualities, like hostile qualities in nature and in other people, that it is designed to strengthen you, designed to help you look more deeply within. So in every sense, it all works in your favor. By the way, I'm at Red Top State Park in Georgia. So, hey, no, how's kidding. it going? <laughs> Have a good day, man. Too, yeah. So, all right, you ready to go? I'm ready. All right. All right. See ya.